Benny Hinn is coming to Toronto. We invite you to join him to hear the life-changing Word of God, experience the presence of the Holy Spirit in worship, and witness Jesus' miraculous healing power. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus is good, and He's healed me. Your life will be impacted at the Prayer Palace Church on Friday, September 7th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, September 8th at 10 and 7. Call or go online for more information. He'll see you there. Precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. You see this? That's God's word. He cannot lie. Impossible. That one word can be canceled. It would be easier for heaven to be destroyed. For the earth were on to vanish than one little dot in this book to be removed. Impossible. Now you've got you, 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 to understand how mighty this word is. What your doctor says, what your Whatever it says means nothing. Absolutely nothing. Or lawyer means nothing. He's only a lawyer. He's only a man. Doctors, just because they wear something that gives them some position, it doesn't mean a thing. They come in, they wear their whatever they wear, and you think, oh, he's got authority because he's got something on. What we have on is the word. Way, way stronger than any uniform. What gives the policeman authority? His uniform. Means nothing. When you see this, I don't care who they are. There's only one authority. His word. And he said, all things are possible. To him that believes. I'm preaching, I'm preaching in a place called Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. You probably never, never heard that before. This woman comes up like this. Watch this. While I'm preaching. And she's walking up the aisle like that. And she sits on my chair. Move over a second. And as she's sitting on my chair, please take your water with you. As she sits on my chair, she's like this. Because she had a brace on her leg. Now that was 1978. I was quite young then and not exactly as wise as I should have been. So I walk over to her. I said, uh, can I help you? She sits on my chair with her leg stuck out like that. And she spoke with a very manly voice. And she hit her leg. She said, my leg. She didn't tell me what's wrong with her leg. Had she told me, I would have never said what I said after that. She said, my leg. Now, she had a brace wrapped around her waist. Oh my God. And brace is metal. Did you ever hear... Hear me tell the story? Good, you need to hear it. She got metal all the way down, stuck to two shoes, connected to the shoes. She had a pair of pants over. So when, I, when, when she said my leg, I said, take the brace off. And she stared at me. Because for her to take the, the brace off, she would have to take her pants down. See the way he's looking at me? But I wasn't thinking. I was under the anointing. I didn't care. I said, take it off. Because I was angry at her for coming up and sitting on my chair. 
and she just stares. And then I insisted she take the brace off. A group of women come running up and, a, and some men give them their jackets and they surround her. Thankfully is right. I should have said, go to the back. I didn't say, so take it off. But, but look, look, that was 1978. I'm 65 today. I'm much smarter than I was back then. I was 20 something years old for goodness sake back then. I began preaching at 21. And that was 1974. I was 21 years old when I began preaching. How old are you? Oh, no, for, for later, later. When, 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 when these people surrounded her, nobody could see what was happening behind them. All I heard is a big scream. It's the second her feet touched the floor. I did not know she had no bones in her legs. She had no bones. Her bones were like rubber. That's why she had the, this thing around her waist connected to her, to her shoes. And that's why she was walking like this the whole time. She had no bones. When her feet touched that floor, she screamed. Big. I can still hear her. That lady, her name was Frances. Frances Scott, to be exact. When she screamed... The place went wild because a lot of people knew her. She had a store and sold dresses, women's dresses. A lot of the ladies would go to her store. Very famous lady in Sault Ste. Marie. It was so awesome. Revival hit that city. Yet the lady had no bones. I'm not telling you nothing. It's impossible because uh -uh, I'm telling it because I saw it. I've been there. I've been in this 40 more years. Nothing is impossible with God. Are you listening? I'm in a place called Spanish Ontario. Most of you never even heard of Spanish Ontario. It's north of Sudbury. It's a little Indian, like Indian, like North American Indian people live there. And while I'm preaching, I, I'm, I'll never forget this. I'm preaching the word of God, people. And a guy, a 28-year-old man with his wife and his little girl and a baby in, her, in, the, in the arm of his wife starts walking up the aisle. He was a cripple. Walked like that lady did, Francis. So I said, can I help you? He looks at me and says, he said, you're here telling us that Jesus heals? I am a cripple, been 28 years in, uh, well, he's had all, the, you know, all these problems. He said, I'm 28 years old. I can't walk. And he's got braces all over his legs. My wife has cancer. We lost our child, first baby. Now the other baby is sick. And then he lifts the the sleeve of his little girl who was maybe 10, 12, and there's blood all over that skin. He said, my little daughter bleeds all the time and there's blood everywhere. And he looks at me and says, you're telling us Jesus heals? Prove it. <laughs> I got on my knees. I said, dear Jesus, I have not come to preach my gospel. I'm preaching your gospel. I'm not preaching... My word, I'm preaching your word. You prove it. When I said you prove it, we heard a big thump like this. Some of you heard me tell that story because it's true. Hit the floor. When that noise hit, we all looked and the guy with the brace jumped out like a spring. Tore his brace off, began running all over the platform. His wife began screaming and the girl's skin cleared in a second. I'm telling you, our God is alive. He healed that man and his wife and his baby and his girl in a second. Nothing is impossible with God. I don't care what's wrong with you. Nothing is impossible. Stand up and give him the praise. Come on. Stand up and give him the glory, people of God. Stand up, every one of you. Lift your hands and say, nothing is impossible. 
I want you all to stand unless you don't have legs. If you don't have legs, we'll probably lay hands on you tonight. Come on, lift your hands. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship and we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. Let me hear your voices. And the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor Lord we lift our hands in worship and we bless your holy name for you Pastor Benny, this is a young pastor. Bring him here. And the Lord just healed him. Circulation problems. He's a young pastor and the Lord just healed him. Of circulation, like blood? Cir yeah, circu yes, blood circulation. What's happening to you, kid? Look at me. I know it's always bit, but what's happening to you? Like what was wrong with you physically? Young. I used to have pain in my legs all the time, and my mom used to have to put multiple socks on my feet at night and rub my legs, and she prayed for me. And when I was a baby, I wasn't even supposed to stand. I, my legs, so what, what, what happened tonight? I felt the fire of the Holy Ghost come from my head to my feet, the same fire. I felt. Degenerative disc condition. God just healed her also. Degenerative disc condition. How bad was it? Oh, that anointing, that anointing, that anointing. That's the glory of God on you, lady. Gently, gently. Sometimes, you know, when they fall like this, they start trembling like this, you almost wonder what's happening inside of them. The anchors and eggs. Can you describe to me what you felt? Not really. <laughs> not really, you can't. It's not human, it's glory and it's... I know, lady, I know, I'm feeling the same thing. Somebody say, praise the Lord. What happened? Pastor Benny, there's a cane laying somewhere tonight because he threw his cane when the Lord healed him of a degenerative condition. He tonight. came in. It's a, there's a cane somewhere in here that he threw when the Lord healed him You've tonight. You've been crying over there. Gently, gentlemen and ladies. Thank you. Heavenly sound. Tell me what happened. I uh, just felt the Lord told me to come up. Well, well, first, what was wrong with you? I have... Uh, 
diabetes neuropathy, fibromyalgia, arthritis in my spine, and PTSD from the military. And uh, I've dealt with these conditions. What happened tonight? Tonight, I just felt like God said, get up and throw the cane down and go up there and walk. And let me cure you. And my heart feels better. How bad were you? Well, I have diabetes in my heart that they said. No, I meant how badly was your body where you couldn't walk? I, I had a hard time walking across my house, just into my, from my bedroom to my kitchen. Okay, now bend down, touch your toes. One more time. Can you can walk briskly, walk fast. A little faster. Let's give the Lord Almighty hand of praise for this. And he's crying, the man. The man is crying over here. How long has it been like that? Uh, about 10 years. Ten, for 10 years, you've struggled. I want to hear the instruments. I want to hear the strings. Come here, let's walk. Run back. Run, brother, run. Let's give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Take your seats, please. Pick up the key. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Pastor Benny, when you prayed for the young man in the blue shirt, you said somebody over here in this place has a heart condition. It was him. God just healed him. Well, he's really getting it. Hey, buddy, what, 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 what's going on? I've heard chest pains be and I sometimes get chest pains and when you called out I was already feeling warmth in my chest and I know I'm healed well thank God for healing you can you for a minute can you just lift lift your hands and let's bless him holy 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 are you Lord let me hear you sing it To this man, this is amazing, Pastor Benny. So many They're healings all tonight. amazing, amazing. This every man, one of them is amazing. This man ripped off his brace and his walker, can move his leg. Wait, wait, wait. So he took his brace off since the early 80s. Injury crushed vertebrae. My god, man, I feel the anointing all over this place. He crushed what vertebrae Think since the boys. early 80s. There's his walker. When I feel the anointing, I feel the anointing. Up, 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 boys. There, 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 brother. Come here, come here. Give me, give me those, uh, those things. Bring them with you. Bring them with you. Come on, man. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Come on, follow me. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Sing it with me. The elders and angels bow. Let me worship you now. has not been able to walk like this since the early 80s. Early 80s. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Holy bring him back. Bring, wait, wait, wait. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring him back, kids. You haven't walked like this since the 80s? Yes, I do. Good luck. You what? 
wait, wait, wait. I drove a bus in New York, and they had pedestal seats. Every wait, wait, you came from where? New York. New York? For this tonight? No, but I moved down here. Oh, you moved. You moved from New York. Yes. And you haven't done, you haven't walked like this since the early 80s. Yes. Uh, what church you go to? What church? I go to a Pentecostal church. I'm peerless strike. Well, thank God you go to church. Come on, come on, man. Now, people, stand up and give Jesus the biggest shout of hallelujah, please. The man, the man has not walked without a brace and whatever he had there, the little walker deal, since the early 80s, be because, because of what? Pedestal seats that I had that when I drove a bus in New York. Every time you hit a bump, you shock your back. It's like going. But now, what did like? What was wrong with you? One more time, run it by me again. What caused? I got two crushed vertebrae in my back, spinal stenosis. I got no cartilage in my right knee. Shoulder got arthritis in it. You mean you had? Yes. Pick it up now. Shout hallelujah. I'm in my prayer room, and I want to pray with you. You just saw the power of God from one of the meetings lately, and I'm believing God to heal you. His word clearly declares, I am the God. He didn't say I was. He didn't say I will be. He said, I am today the God that healeth thee. And I want you to focus on this blessed promise from the scripture that God is your healer today, ready to heal you through Jesus Christ, his wonderful son. Because everything we receive comes through Jesus, everything. And so we come now in Jesus' name because in his name there is power to bring health, to bring deliverance, to bring peace. So let's believe together. First of all, I want to pray that God will heal you. Then I'm going to pray that God will prosper you and meet every need in your life, including family. Because we are in agreement now that God will do it. And why do we show you His power? That you might believe. It's that simple. So from my prayer room in my home, I'm here with you now, just us, to pray together. So stretch your hands towards me. I'm stretching my hands towards you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come in faith and in agreement. And Lord, we right now agree that that sickness will go, that disease will die, that disease will be canceled from that life and body, in the glorious and the awesome and mighty name of Jesus, your Son. And Lord, I step into my office and I command the disease to go. I command that sickness to be gone in Jesus' mighty and glorious name right now. Arthritis of the shoulder and the elbows is just being healed now in Jesus' name. A blood condition is being healed. A skin condition is also being healed. Severe pain in the head. Someone, you, you, you had an injury in your head on the right side. The pain is right now subsiding, it's going. In Jesus' name, be gone. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. I see someone with, a, with an infection in your lungs, especially on the left side of the lung. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Heal every person, Lord, calling on Jesus right now for your sake. Amen and Amen. The greatest miracle is salvation. If you don't know the Lord, just simply say, Dear Jesus, 
I need you. Forgive me my sin. Cleanse me with your blood. Come into my heart now, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And now I want to pray for your prosperity. But first, let's believe God for your family. Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray every daughter, every son, every child will be saved. Bring household salvations, Lord, meet the needs in that marriage, in that life, in that business, in that home, in the name of Jesus. I give you all the praise and God's people said, Amen. And now, Lord, we also agree. Come on, let's believe God. We agree for financial prosperity, for financial blessings, for an amazing time of abundance to come to everyone watching this program and believing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, you know what to do. You have to sow seed. There's three keys to, to prosperity. Proverbs 8.21, loving the Lord brings prosperity. Job 22, his word brings prosperity and obedience. Job 36, 11, you have to obey. And as you obey, God will do it and trigger that prosperity. There's a number on the screen. You call that now and sow your seed. And there's an address on the screen. Uh, this is a special address uh, for your prayer requests in Dallas. And then they send me all the prayer requests here. I asked the ministry to have an, a different address for you so I would know that when you write me, they send me everything here so it's not some other mail. They'll come to me here in my prayer room and I pray over it. They keep the money there, goes to the bank there, but then the prayer request comes here. So send it to that address and help me sow and plant trees in Israel. This is the time to fulfill prophecy in the Holy Land more than ever. And you can go to our website for that. So tell your friends about this brand new program and believe your miracle is on the way. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. Benny Hinn is coming to Toronto. We invite you to join him to hear the life-changing Word of God, experience the presence of the Holy Spirit in worship, and witness Jesus' miraculous healing power. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus is good. And he's healed me. Your life will be impacted at the Prayer Palace Church on Friday, September 7th at 7 p.m. And Saturday, September 8th at 10 and 7. Call or go online for more information. He'll see you there. Pastor Benny Hinn is excited to offer you the opportunity to have the Dake Study Bible, widely recognized as the most comprehensive and important examination of the scriptures ever created. If you love the Word of God, make sure to get this amazing Bible. Containing more tools for personal study than any other Bible. This ultimate resource for understanding God's Word can be yours for only $100. Invest in your Christian life by getting the best Bible on earth. And every preacher I know has the Dick Bible because they know the value of it. Pastors, church workers, and every Christian will benefit from this uniquely detailed study reference. So don't miss this opportunity. Call or order online now.